Welcome traders to the Strategy Quant X practical lessons. All of the following series will be done using the software. So in lesson five, we'll download and install the software. We'll add data to it. In lesson six, we'll build strategies using default templates. Lesson seven, we'll focus on using custom blocks. Lesson eight will be strategies with out of sample robustness testing. This is the first robustness testing method. And lesson nine will continue robustness testing with high resolution and Monte Carlo simulation. And in lesson 10, robustness testing will be done on multiple markets. Finally, in lesson 11, we'll learn how to save and run the final strategy to a trading platform. Remember, all these videos are meant as an introduction to Strategy Quantex. When you buy the full license, you will get much in-depth training series. As always, you can send us your questions on support at strategyquant.com. In this lesson, we will download and install Strategy Quantex with a trial key. Then we'll set its general options, add instrument data. This can be stock data currency, or crypto. Also, futures data is available. We're going to set data to a different time zone. First of all, we need to download StrategyQuant. So we go to strategyquant.com. Get a free trial. Put your name, email address. Download 64-bit version, save file. Once the file is downloaded, open it and make sure your firewall is off because the program setup will download information from the server. I agree to the license and install. I put it in a different folder because I already have it installed. So as you can see, it will download 487 megabytes. Okay, once it's done, start strategy quant. And you will need to enter the license that was emailed to you. Okay, once you launch strategy quant X, uh, you'll be faced with a screen like this, depending on the version you're at, because as they update the software uh, very frequently, you might have different options showing on your screen. To sum it up, it's, uh, this is the welcome screen. Uh, what's new gives you what's new since the last build. And these are the old uh, training uh, introduction. You're uh, seeing the new training introduction right now. And then quick links, how to backtest using, like how to match the backtest in MetaTrader or TradeStation or multi-charts. Definitely this is important post installation steps, which is how to import the indicators into MetaTrader 4 and TradeStation. And then uh, there's a user guide to teach you how to do something like this training. And then um, here we can go to uh, configuration. And we can start with the CPU. Make sure to reserve one core for the user interface. Otherwise, the computer will be very sluggish and will not respond in time to your mouse or keyboard uh, entries. And then in performance, I'm just using the recommendation. The same thing with memory. You can let the program determine the maximum. I do set mine because I know what I have. Usually, if you set everything on auto, it will be fine. Uh, unless you have a very slow computer or a very fast computer, then you can customize. Again, same thing uh, with data banks. I update every hour because if you do it very frequently, it will be it will make the computer very slow and sluggish. I don't store 3D charts because it uses too much data and again, too much time. Uh, so, so basically, you leave all this auto unless you have a very slow computer or very fast computer. And then you can uh, do a benchmark. 
to see how many strategies your computer can compute. This will give you an idea. In my case, you said the language, I set it to English, and the skin, I like dark skin. Then here you can get to, to the website and help and support. And of course, when you purchase, you can update the license. By the way, when you purchase, you will get a much in-depth uh, training uh, video series. So this video series is meant as an introduction. And then once you buy a license, you will get much in-depth uh, video series to teach you all the details about strategy quant. So uh, to start building, we need data. So the data that comes with the installation are currencies, Euro USD, Pound USD, and USD Franc, and USD uh, Yen. Now you can add more. In the trial version, you have, you can download uh, some uh, pairs, like for example, let's download the Australian USD, and we want M1 data, and we'll post fix it with M1. Okay, so this is one data, this is tick data. Tick, tick data will take a long time, of course. One minute data will take a very short time. Save. Okay, now we pick the uh, Aussie dollar, and then we can download data for this existing symbol. I'm going to download last 10 years. You can download all data available and add only missing data. We don't want to override the existing data. This option is reserved for the license package where you can download at much faster rates. So we're going to add one minute data, last 10 years, or you can customize the date exactly. Okay, now that's done. You can also download uh, from Yahoo. Let's add some symbol, for example, Apple, Amazon, Google. And then same thing, you can pick the symbol and you download data for it. Again, choosing the same thing, only adding missing data. In this case, it will be uh, daily data, so it's very fast. And if you want to add uh, crypto data, so you go pick a network and let's pick uh, Bitcoin against US dollar and we'll pick the hours resolution and post fix it with the hour symbol. Then you click on the symbol and choose download data. And we're going to pick 10 years. Now, uh, if your broker is in a different time zone than the data you downloaded, then you need to change the data to that time zone. So your strategy, when it's programmed, for example, to exit at 12 p.m., it will be 12 p.m. your broker's time. Uh, you can do that for any symbol. Uh, it's very easy. For example, we did the uh, Aussie USD, and you can just go to Tools, clone to another time zone, and then you're going to shift it, let's say, you can choose the time zone or you can decide. If you're lucky, you live in Hawaii, and then you just uh, set it up. Proceed, and it's almost done. Now, the nice thing about this is this symbol now, you see it says clone. So that means whenever you update this symbol, which is the root, it will automatically update this one. So this one doesn't need to be updated at all. This is just a cloned uh, asset of this symbol, just shifted time. So you can shift it up or down depending on your broker place. Uh, you don't need to shift if you're trading in the same. So for, for example, let's say you downloaded the uh, e-mini futures for S&P in New York. 
and if you're trading that future using a broker in New York, then you don't need to shift the time. Yes, because the time of the data will be New York time, and then your broker is in New York, so then no need to shift the data. The shifting is only if your broker is in a different time zone, and therefore you want to match his timestamp. Great, uh, now that we have some data to work with, we can start building some strategies. See you in the next lesson.